am Raji Shri Vengitramanan. I am now reading 120 words English shorthand within 7 minutes. Students, I am reading for you. So, you also adding like to me. Thank you. Stars, I have put you to the inconvenience of coming all the way to Delhi in this season. But I am sure that in view of the importance of the subject we are going to discuss in this conference and the outcome of the results that we expect you will not regret your having come to the capital as you are aware the government of india have started several schemes for youth welfare something has already been achieved within a short time but a great deal still remains to be done in the field of games and sports sports and games have very important role to play in the building up of a healthy nation but we cannot say that they are playing their role in our country effectively at all. It is against this background that I have invited you today to consider the steps to be taken to improve the existing state of affairs. I have not put before you any fixed agenda as I would like you to raise whatever points you may consider specially significant. It will not be possible for the conference to go into details and we can perhaps leave that to a smaller committee which may be set up to advise the government from time to time on all matters relating to this subject. Here we can usefully confine ourselves to a discussion of the main questions. We must consider the resources both human and material at our disposal and examine how they can be used to the best advantage. I have no reason to believe that our human material is in any way inferior to that of any other country, but we must find effective means for its mobilization and training. It is, in my opinion, a question organization. The greatest need is to have effective and clean organization which will be free from defects. The sports institutions must command general confidence and respect. They must therefore be not merely good but also appear to be good so that their leadership is accepted and the largest possible numbers come into the fold of sports. We must draw into sports leaders and organizers who are really interested in sports and remove those who simply seek personal advantage. In this connection, I would like to stress another point. While the government should no doubt do all that is in their power to encourage and support sports, the main responsibility must rest with those bodies which are actively engaged in the work so that sports can thrive on the people's efforts. A very important part of the problems of organization is the provision of coaching and training facilities. I know certain coaching schemes were taken up in the past. Unfortunately, they are few and insufficient. It is not enough that some hurried coaching arrangement is made for a particular competitive event. It falls to produce the desired results and places wrong emphasis on competitions. What is mainly needed is not only success in competition but the building up of a nation physically fit 
and filled with the spirit of sportsmanship. Therefore, special coaching should be based on wide playing facilities and training arrangements from the stage of primary school itself. The two principal problems of material resources are those of playgrounds and finances. Here also, it is the duty of the government to give the maximum help possible. But I must again emphasize that we should not rely only on government help. The gov various sports council must always and find all ways and means making themselves strong financially by their hard work. In other words, they must try to stand on their own legs and look to the government only to supplement their income. I have placed before you some of my own thoughts on the subject. I now invite you to a full, full and frank exchange of ideas. I expect that before we close our discussions today, we will have not only a clear picture of the problem facing us, but we will also have a reasonably clear plan of ta tackling those problems. It will not s serve any useful purpose to find out with others in a negative way. We should admit that in spite of severe drawbacks, many organizations and individuals among you and elsewhere have done valuable service in the cause of gains. But at the same time, we must also understand that the total picture at present is far from satisfactory. We must therefore adopt concrete and effective methods to improve the present position as quickly as possible. As far as I am concerned, I shall listen to you eagerly.